Hey, Chris here. Today I want to take a look at another bag from Gonex. I'm always on the lookout and am excited to find bags that are budget friendly. So I want to take a look at some features of this bag. I want to give some ideas of things we could possibly pack inside. Then I want to give just some overall thoughts on this bag. Let's start by talking features on this bag. This is a smaller top bag with a claimed 20 liter capacity. You'll see there is a smaller top pocket on the front with dual zippers. Once we unzip, nice opening, a couple of small pockets and ability to put, say, a pen and a pencil in as well. Also some padding on the front of the, the, the pocket as well. Also, you're going to have one large main compartment in the bag. It will give you a grab handle on the top of the bag. A shoulder strap that's adjustable it does have a pad on it and looking at the back of the bag this will give you the ability to slide this over the handle of say your rolling luggage and it does come with velcro to help keep that in place so taking a look inside the bag again the main compartment does have dual zippers once we unzip again nice large opening You'll have two mesh pockets and kind of a compression strap, I guess. Not really the ability to compress, but more to keep your items in place. Uh, so love seeing that inside really any kind of bag. So nice seeing this on a very inexpensive bag. So next what we'll do is just take a quick look at some items we could possibly pack inside this bag. To me, the appeal of this bag is the fact that this can potentially be used as a personal item when you fly or just a nice overnight bag. Let's take a look at just a few potential items you can pack and I want to show what that looks like. So again, I love the nice wide opening to this bag and the ability to kind of keep your items in place. So I do have a Gonex uh, compression packing cube. This is size medium. Currently have five t-shirts inside. So if you want to potentially throw this in, again, it's going to give you the ability to do so. And also it's going to give you some room on the other side of the bag. So just have a pouch with some cords, chargers, earbuds, things to that effect inside. Also have just a pair of headphones. And again, this could be a similar size to even say a toiletry kit. And of course a battery. This is a 20,000 milliamp hour. And again, if you had a lightweight jacket, just a couple of t-shirts, really whatever you wanted to do, um, you going to be plenty of space inside this bag. Again, I know 20 liters sounds small in a lot of situations when you think of 40, 60 liter bags. But to me, this is going to definitely be enough space for uh, just a, you know, two, three day trip easily. And of course, overnight. And if you're thinking about just, if you're using this in conjunction with a carry-on bag, again, as a personal item. Again, if you're throwing some headphones in here, magazine, a tablet, snacks, I mean, anything to that effect is going to have plenty of room. Even if you just want one change of clothes inside the bag can definitely handle that. So we'll zip this up. See what that looks like. And then of course if you wanted to throw your cell phone in the front with a couple of pens or pencils, any kind of boarding pass or again a book, whatever the case might be, could easily fit in the front of this bag as well. And I think I did mention that there is some slot padding on the front of the bag in addition to the back of the bag as well. So just as far as um, putting an electronic in the front, I probably would be, be fine with that as long as it did have a case. For example, if you have a phone with a case, definitely would have no issue, even like an iPad. Um, I'm assuming could probably fit in here, especially an iPad mini. Um, again, don't see any problem with that at all. So, but Again, a laptop, I don't know if it does have enough padding with, with that type of investment in the bag. I would be kind of hesitant um, to, to try a laptop in this bag. But still, those essential items, when you do use this as a personal item, can easily fit in here. So to finish up, I do want to give just some quick thoughts on this bag. This is currently the third product I've had a chance to look at from Gonex. And what I really like about all three products is they're all budget-friendly. So I'm always in the market to find items that could potentially be used for travel. Again, that's not going to break the bank. I know there's a lot of awesome bags out there that are going to be anywhere from $100 to $300. And we all love those. But I also like looking at that far 
end of the spectrum as well as far as you know something that's going to be very affordable so this bag actually retails for approximately 18 to 19 dollars i actually picked the bag up for 17.99 on amazon and i thought for around 18 dollars definitely worth taking a closer look at actually really glad i i, I did so far, I really like the compression packing cubes I purchased from Gonex and also the foldable duffel bag. I believe for the price that uh, I like the material. So nice quality for the price, uh, without a doubt. So this bag in particular, again, I was surprised because a lot of products when you get it, again, feel cheap, very little structure to it. This one, again, was pleasantly surprising because, again, it does have... Just that little bit of padding, which I like in the bag, so it does keep some form, and the fact that it holds more than I originally anticipated. So I was, uh, again, very surprised to see some of that. So overall, very happy with the bag, especially for $18, $19. So if you're looking for a very cost-efficient, budget-friendly bag, again, that you could use for personal item or overnight or weekend-type bag, again, this could definitely be an option. So, of course, if you do have any questions, I would be happy uh, to try to answer those. So, as always, thank you so much for taking time to watch. Please like, subscribe, and leave those comments. Again, thank you so much.